first up, in a significant setback for ex-Kerala Finance Minister Thomas Isaac, ED has issued fresh summons to him. Now, Thomas Isaac has been summoned in connection with the Kerala Infrastructure Investment Fund board masala bond case. Remember last month, the ED had informed the Kerala High Court that it's withdrawing the summons issued earlier to Thomas in forex violation involving the masala bonds. Now, this was after the Kerala High Court Division bench on uh, November 24th stayed the single bench decision allowing the ED to issue fresh summons. However, the ED, after taking a legal opinion, decided to issue a fresh summons to ISAC again. In fact, he's been asked to appear before the ED in Kochi on January 12th. My colleague Jayalakshmi joins me for the latest. Jayalakshmi, good afternoon. This is clearly a big setback for him, but as far as his involvement um, that the central agency is also trying to establish and the summons now, can you put things into perspective for us? Uh, yes, uh, certainly. Even though the ED had withdrawn the case against Thomas Isaac, who was the ex-finance minister of Kerala, and uh, this, uh, even though they had withdrawn it last month, now they have issued a fresh summons and have asked to uh, asked Thomas Isaac to appear before ED on uh, January 12th. Uh, as to uh, we, Thomas Isaac has responded to media and he is uh, saying that they, they haven't asked any of to submit any of the personal documents yet and he will talk uh, officially talk to the media after uh, he has uh, been uh, after on, on January 12th after the uh, questioning is done so we are it is yet to see, be seen that on what basis the ED is again going to investigate because clearly last time they had said that there were not enough evidences against uh, uh, Thomas Isaac and that is the reason they had withdrawn the case and in fact the uh, case B so now we, it is yet to seen that what is going to happen on January 12th and uh, what will be Thomas Isaac questioned.